thousands of cattle suspiciously die in a Kansas heat wave. It's said that over 10,000 cattle perish, and ranchers are saying it's unusually high, even for a heat wave of that magnitude. Let's go ahead and get the opinion of a rancher who's very familiar with the Kansas area. Progressive Farmer, Progressive Farmer has done its own research into this. They've called out to some of the feedlots, they've called out to farmers in the area, um, and they've, they've u utilized their resources, which I think Progressive Farmer normally has some pretty good resources. Their numbers were uh, estimates of as high as 10,000. Seems like a very, very high number, even for uh, a, a heat wave of this magnitude. So I wanted to go through what could have caused this naturally, uh, what some of the suspicions are, or what some of the other theories are. Florida is a very large cattle state. Texas is a very large cattle state. There are a lot of states with much hotter temperatures than even what we're seeing is this extreme heat wave in Kansas that have not been facing mass cattle deaths. So the, the heat argument in and of itself seems uh, a, a little far-fetched. Now this happened in Ulysses, Kansas. Uh, it's, it seems to be a rather uh, set area and I've driven out there before. You know, there are a lot of feedlots in that, that western side of Kansas. So when we're pinpointing one particular area and all of these areas have feedlots and all of these areas have all these cows, um, it, it seems a little suspicious on the, on the heat theory in that standpoint. But nonetheless, 